What is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm going with the Blazers a Medicom toy. Now in this video I'm going over some release info, how to buy the sightless and the resale value. So I'll waste any time, let's hop into it. So first we have the sightless. It is exclusively dropping on Nike sneakers as far as I know uh, right now. Uh, if it does change, I'll make sure to put the links of the websites in the description box below. Um, so in order to hit on Nike sneakers, it's very tough. We've been seeing, you know, everybody takes L's on that app all the time. So here's that kind of increase your chances. Um, so first you can make five accounts on a one credit card, which is very important because the more accounts you have, uh, the more chances you put in uh, in order to get the sneaker. Now you need different phone numbers in order to make the different accounts. I'd recommend contacting family and friends. If you could use their phone number in order to make an account or if they already have an account, you can have them go for the sneaker and either you can, you know, uh, uh, pay them the retail or you can pay them a little premium price but still enough room for you to make profit because you're doing all the lead work um, in that transaction. Now, now, if you do have the five accounts all accessible from your phone, you have a two minute window uh, to enter as many accounts as you can. So I, I don't see a problem entering five accounts within the two minutes. You gotta be quick. You gotta make sure you're there at 10 a.m. Um, yeah, these are dropping at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I, I, I forgot to mention that, but you have two minutes to enter as many accounts as you can and you should be good to go unless the app kind of glitches and bugs out, which it can do occasionally. But it's not as, like it's not a very high known release as of right now, so I don't see it bugging out and being an issue on release day. Now this sneaker is releasing on December 26, 2020. Now some of the resale, it's going to retail for eighty dollars. Um, usually the sneakers that retail for one hundred dollars don't have a high resale, but in this case that it does. Now it's going to retail for eighty dollars, and I can see the resale being around one hundred fifty, one hundred sixty, maybe some sizes reaching one hundred seventy. I see the one hundred fifty uh, kind of being the lowest. It could dip down to one hundred forty depending on the size, but we'll hop in that just a little later. But definitely a great flip. You could probably, um, you know, make one hundred percent profit on this. Uh, double your money, uh, you know, especially if you are patient and sell on the right platform and get the right deal for them. So some of the release info, the best sizes to go for in terms of resale sizes, uh, four, four and a half, and five, and then ten to twelve. Uh, those are you know the highest bids on StockX right now, so they seem like they're in the most demand. Um, so I'll definitely um, go you know prioritize those sizes in terms of resale. Now personally, this is a good enough flip. Well, I'm gonna go outside that range and try to cop the sneakers you know that are sizes six to nine. Um, you know, so it increases my chances of getting them because a lot of people know that these are the best sizes So they're going to target those when it comes to buying the sneaker for resale However, I'm gonna go outside that range so I can increase my chances of getting a pair I may not you know, I may lose out on ten twenty dollars if it's you know the wrong size um, But however, it's still obtainable It you know makes a sneaker more obtainable and I you know walk away with profit instead of lowering my chance of getting a pair and ending up with nothing So that's kind of how I go after these releases and I recommend you guys do the same oh, the cop risk is low I don't see uh, the sneaker breaking whatsoever. I see the other uh, sneaker being very, very profitable, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. Now, here are some of the highest bids on stock hex. Like I talked about, you can see sizes four through five. They're at like the 250 range, which is uh, you know, just crazy. They're all at the same price. So that could be someone, um, you know, trying to buy them in bulk early on and maybe try to hold them. Um, but however, those are the highest sizes, and then we can see here, uh, 10 to 12 are doing really well as well. Now, if you do get your pair, where to sell them, I'd recommend selling on eBay and local meetups. Now, if you don't have much experience with that, I'd just be careful because there are a lot of scammers and a lot of sketchy things that go on. But just be careful. You you know, be smart. If you're in doubt of it, just pull out. Just don't, um, don't like, like socialize with that person or do that transaction. It's better just to be safe than sorry. Uh, Grail is another great way to sell your products. You make connections. Like you talk to the buyer and there's, um, you know, there's a, like it's connection going on um, so you guys can use that later down in the line now in terms of stock kicks and goat they do take a 12% which is pretty hefty um, like on this sneaker and the profit margins um, I don't see that being a, like too much of a problem since the retail is low um, and the resell is technically low for a lot of like normal sneakers which means the cut would be lower but the profit would still be high if that makes any sense like you're doubling $80 you know instead of taking 12% out of 160 it's not going to be that big of a deal when you bought it for 80 but you know if you buy a stinker for 170 and selling it for 300 then it's going to be a different you know the 12% is going to be much larger so you can definitely sell on stock and go for this one but however I do not recommend it because it shouldn't take you too long to, to get used to eBay I almost permanently sell on eBay now uh, and I, like and I love it there there's no seller's fee and it's absolutely great and I can maximize my profit now I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one